this man here, this is Ron Paul right here. You know what I'm saying? This is Ron Paul Sr. He got a son named Ron Paul Jr. That's the one blackballed me, Adam Jackson. You know, from Dow Chemical after I got killed there, they, you know, just blackballed me, man. Took my money and, you know, just ran with it. And, you know, his daddy right here was the the congressman, you know, from Texas that was in the White House with, uh, I think he was in there with Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he was in there with Obama. He might have been in there trying to run for president with Obama, but then uh, he didn't get it. You know, I remember newspaper clippings going around like in uh, 95, 94, you know what I'm saying? You know, no, yeah, around 95, 94, 93, we used to read newspaper clippings about his daddy, you know, being in the Congress. And then, you know, he was quoted uh, always saying something about blacks. I remember one time in particular, he uh, said that all black people are thieves. You know what I'm saying? Have stole something. You know, all that there, you know what I'm saying? You know, he racist, you know what I'm saying? But this him right here, talking about, you know, trying to make money off what his sons got started for murdering and blackballing at far left who is printing vast sums of money and there's no end in sight hi i'm dr ron paul and this is a warning to all americans the people in power can dilute the value of your 401k or ira you hear him the people in power can dilute you know your the power in your money man i'm gonna tell you that's all it's about to these guys is their power Man, that's why God taking it, old man. Because of your, the power your son had to do to my son, Adam. You know, do you even understand? Do you even feel sorry? You ain't never came on to apologize for what y'all did over there in Texas, in Freeport, Texas. And you're a Republican and a congressman and all that shit. And you ain't never apologized to God. It was God, man. He wrote a letter to your son when he died. And he wrote a letter from God in 98 when he died again, the second death, to get us here in heaven and create Peck's perfected paradise for you guys. And y'all don't appreciate it. You still want power, huh? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. But that's Ron Paul right there. At the push of a button. But the good news is... There is one strap at the push of a button, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at the push of a button, you know what I'm saying? Code name, code name Trinity, nickname Little Boy, that's the atomic bomb. Push it, you know what I'm saying? Push it, old man, push it. Looking like the devil. I don't mean to sound rude, but then, you know what I'm saying, it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Boy, that's a shame. You know what I'm saying? And people starting to realize, at first when I started rapping, niggas was like, that's old best ass nigga, but they hate to see me coming like that nigga that, but you are actually, people are actually listening to what I'm saying now. And the thing that I was saying a year ago, and what you are all seeing now, I'm like, if you ain't sharing, people ain't caring. Don't let a motherfucker brainwash you like they're looking out for you. You better open your fucking eyes, nigga. You better help yourself. Ain't no nigga finna take care of you. It's a difference in looking out and taking care of nigga. I understand I gotta pay my dues with this rap shit if that's what I wanna do. Meaning people gonna shut me down. Niggas gonna brush me off. I ain't tripping. That's a part of paying dues. So you better as well get ready for the fuck that. You wanna do this shit.
so the negative shit don't bother me. I'm surrounding myself around real love, myself around real love ones, so I need that love for me. You know, if I go to jail, I know one thing, I just give me a pill in the blanket, hey, one come get me. He go same thing, half a million dollar born, he stays there away. Check the stats, pack the pack, pay the prison. You feel like you say somebody name, you gonna talk about this bitch. Right. Well, this is what I wanna get out the way. What's up with the Boosie Nussie controversy? You dropped well, out Nussie Badass. Yeah. All of a sudden it's it's beefing. Nussie and Boosie. And well, yada, that's, yada, that's yada, the streets. That, that's, that's the streets, and that's that was exactly that was my plan. Like I say, I'm a thinker. I wanted to get in the rap game. So I'm like, well, what the fuck could I do? I said, I'll tell you what. If you listen to my rhymes, I crack, I keep it gangster, but I crack a lot of jokes in my rhymes. For example, I might say I sold a nigga some horse hate because it didn't have the, the, the uh, cause I didn't have the weed. At least I told the truth, I said it didn't have seeds. That's funny, but it's some gangster shit. It'll get you killed, and nigga know I do that type shit. So I said, this is what I'm gonna do. I see Lil Boost's album cover, I said, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take, I wanted to take his face off the album cover and put my face on his body and name it Nussie Bad Air. But Big Nail told me don't do that, Nussie. I'm like, man, fuck all that. You know, I'm trying to get in this rap game. So it was not at this album. I went on 941, DJ Boost and Big Cheese, we interviewed, they interviewed me about an hour and a half. I explained to everybody where I'm gonna drop the album, this is what I'm gonna do, this is why I'm gonna do it. I thought it would be funny, you know, I thought nigga look at the album, laugh at the motherfucking buy it. Cause the name of the game is sell a CD. So I'm trying to sell you a CD. So, did the shit, I did an interview, I said, Boosie, Turk, anybody got any problem with it, give me a call. I ain't trying to upset nobody or nothing, I'm just trying to get in this game, you know what I mean? I'm just, whatever I got to do, I'm trying to, the name of the game is to sell CDs, you know, I sold like what? We sold about 3,000 in two days, you know, so that's the plan, you know, I'm happy. Cool, everybody act like they ain't got no problem with it. I got my CD at the bottom line in the south. Boosie pull up in the Corvette, he let a nigga out the pad in the side, nigga yank me Mr. Bad and sign down. So I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. I just sold this nigga a pan of syrup at the Dollar General store. Remember when I told you meet me at the Dollar, when well, you told me, I told you meet me wherever you want me, man. You told me to go by Dollar General, I'm whooped up by myself, you whooped up. I told you I ain't kidding you, boy. If I ain't, if, if I did it, me and you wouldn't be talking right now. You said, all right, bro, I sold you, gave me the money. We did finish. I'm like, damn, kind of fucked up, just sold a nigga pan of syrup. So, I see the nigga. Right. I see people, you know, we don't see each other, nobody say nothing, it ain't like that, you know. I, ain't, I don't really have, I don't have no beat, I, don't, I like his music, I, I, I might not agree what he do in the streets, as far as keeping it real with bad mood like he say he do, but that's just another story, that's just my personal opinion, you know, but I, 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 I feel like, bro, to be honest with you, bro, you, you, we're not on the same level to be beefing. So I don't, it's like pretty much kind of embarrassing to me to say I'm beefing with Boosie because Boosie's a talented rapper and I'm a gangster. Ain't no comparison. Right. I'd like to thank you for clearing that up. Definitely had to get that out there. Nobody wanted to approach you, so this didn't answer the question. Yeah, man. I'm I back to listen. Dude, man. Business, man. Who are your influences as far as the music on this side? Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lord. Be honest with you. I can't think of nobody who I can compare myself to who really influenced me. I just try all kinds of shit. I ain't scared to try nothing. I just tried this shit fucking around with it. And it just did what it did. Everybody recognized and liked what I said. And niggas like I be speaking some real shit. And that's, I say, I basically, I say the things people be wanting to say. I'm labeled as the bad guy. I don't care. You can hate my guts. Long as you look out for somebody around this bitch, you can hate me all day long. I got me. You see how you see up over man? We ain't hurt, man. You know, we, we do us. Tell us about your previous album, your current album. What you got coming? Um, shit, we got a few mixtapes. Wow. Wow. Diablo. We can vouch for me. Go to the box one, two. Um, street credibility. Just drop Mr. Badass. Um, I'm dropping this. Tower is clarified with the Knight of Swords and the Temperance. Something is coming in quick. Mm -hmm. Something is coming in quick. This person wants to balance the skills out with you, Page of Cups. This person wants to apologize to you, Five of Swords, for some type of backstabbing or betrayal when it came to a family or a third party situation. Yeah, Queen of Wands to the Page of Swords.
Give me more of the five of swords. Empress. Damn. Damn. Somebody could have been trying to look at. Somebody could have been judging you at just the Queen of Wands. Something that, you know, they can have a good time with. And, you know, they didn't have to wife or they didn't have to be in a connection with. Maybe when you was dealing with this person, you was in this Queen of Wands energy, you know? But as you have grown and, you know, went on your spiritual journey or just, you know, to, you know, activated your higher self, you're now this empress under the bottom nine of pentacles. You're not the same. The world card, the hangman. Listen. <coughs> Excuse me. The wheel of fortune. The world card, the hangman, three of swords, eight of pentacles. Oh, I said eight of pentacles, eight of cups. Somebody be right now working with you, sussies. Some of you guys are moving on to new love. Um, it's giving me an energy of the one who got away. Evelyn, something changed. Something changed within you, Queen of Wands. You, you, you just, you just. Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, to the Three of Swords. Somebody put you in a third party situation because I'm beyond honest, this is how they were just seeing you. Somebody who was beautiful on the outside, can have a good time with, you know, that a lot. I ain't really got to put in that much effort. I ain't got to lock you down. But you have grown. You have grown to the Empress, to the Nine of Pentacles. You are nothing, nothing like what you were when this person first met you. This somebody will have to get to know you all over again. And they watch you online, see how inspiration you are, how you stand on your ground after this betrayal. They know that mm, something has changed within you. And it brings this person a lot of regret because somebody is seeing you differently. Four pinnacles, two of cups. And wish that they would have held on to this connection. Secretly, with the moon card to the four of swords to the chariot, this person wants to come towards you and heal a situation. The sun card to the ten of cups, because this is how they see you. Clarify the moon card. Holy Spirit. Two of pentacles. Did they wonder, do you know that they juggled you? Knight of wands. Do you still see them as this player? This person spends a lot of time and emotions and they feel it in their head. Knight of Pentacles. It stresses them out. Knight of Cups in, re um, in reverse. Because they didn't give you nothing. And you just not yet. The lover to the full card. To the Queen of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. To two of swords to the devil. Somebody who has some type of toxic addiction. Okay, they blocked you out and went to go, you know, um, how do you say it? Explore the, the horizons. Okay. Um, somebody met. The, the same toxic energy they was at, they ran into that same thing. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. They ran into the same type of energy. Somebody cannot see yeah, King of Cups. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. They ran into the same type of energy that they was into. And now somebody is seeing the truth and it has up in their feelings and their emotions because the one who they truly love was the Knight of Cups in reverse. They held back from that. And now you're an empress. Six of swords to the high from to the ace of pentacles. God damn, three of cups, queen of cups. This person is, is this person feels led to come towards you to make things right, to bring justice, bring balance to the situation. Queen of Cups to the Three of Cups, they want to reconcile with you because some of you guys with the Six of Cups in reverse, you might not want to go back to your past. Ace of Pentacles to the High Friend to the Six of Swords. Yeah, what's the Seven of Swords? 
the high priestess, eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. For some of you guys, you don't trust this person. Somebody is listening to their intuition. What's the high priestess? The high for is clarified with the page of swords to the strength card. Somebody is watching you, stopping you, your every move. Okay, they seeing you get away. Five of wands to the eight of eight of wands, king of swords. This is giving me an energy of even though the five of wands in the upright, it's like somebody doesn't want to argue, they don't want to fight. Okay. They just want to come towards you and make it right. But with the five of wands being here, some of you guys still feel like this person has to change. King of swords to the uh, hermit. What's the five of wands? King of pentacles. The devil card. Damn. The justice. King of wands to the seven of cups to the four of wands. Somebody is all in the head about doing. I heard do anything for clout. Somebody made a choice, like, maybe who, yeah. Somebody could have literally met somebody online, okay? Maybe this could be somebody who gets all the likes or, you know, all the views, taking her resume, and, and they went towards that person because they gave them, you know, an opportunity, and somebody literally chose another energy over you. Yeah, somebody, it's giving me an energy of somebody just misjudged you. And when they did and they walked away from you, spirit showed them exactly who you are. And now it's hard, it's hard to sit with that type of energy. And it stresses this person out. Somebody filled with the five of swords, they feel defeated. They feel like, how do I come back from this situation? How do I come back from this mess that I created? The magician to the page of pentacles to the seven of pentacles to the five of pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody literally could have had a child with someone. Okay? And they realizing that they was either manipulated to work with a person. Invested. Somebody somebody got tricked. And now they want to leave this person out in the cold and come towards you. Ooh, somebody is seeing this star and it's like... <laughs> Somebody is literally wishing upon a star that they can have a second chance with you. But somebody feels defeated. Somebody feels like something is going to be difficult. Five of Wands to the Eight of Wands. Um, it's giving me a... Um, it's giving me an energy of... Somebody feels like something that they have done. Um, they, they're going to reach out and talk to you because they want to right their wrongs. Somebody want to make something right going forward. Five of Wands. <clears throat> five of Wands to the Eight of Wands. The difference is the Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to make something right moving forward. You know? Somebody is like, how can we get past this? You know? How can I change this? How can I make it right? You know, moving forward. There's a decision that you guys, you know, you're going to have to make when this person comes to you. Somebody want to change something that happened in the past. But Spirit said, you guys been low-key chilling in your own bubble. Okay, focused on you. Somebody who married somebody, you know, gave someone a commitment that was something that was only, was supposed to be short-term. If they didn't know, now they know. Um, somebody is walking away from a whole comment. Yeah, somebody is leaving a car behind to come towards you. They done. When I say done, somebody is done, done. Literally. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Sudden wealth. 11. 11 can be some naked fit. Sudden wealth, Holy Spirit. Change. <laughs> Something change. That's you. Emperor's not a pinnacles. I heard big boss. Yeah, you mature. You're not the same person since an ending. What's behind that journey forced person? I'm telling you, somebody is leaving a situation behind for somebody who, who they was working with. Somebody got a message of concern that somebody is going somewhere else. Yeah. Ooh, whoever that forced person is, they going through it. Somebody literally changed their whole life. Like, their whole life transformed after this situation. 
and somebody is watching you and, and, and they inspire it. They inspire it. They, they, somebody can't believe it. Somebody like, no, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be there. Somebody literally running, like hauling at, you know what? I cannot. I'm getting out of this. Give me, um, let's get some angel messages before you go, um, before I close this uh, out, so see. Somebody literally could be running. Like, anything else, Holy Spirit, before I close this out? Express your love. Religious factors. Something that was very different about you. This person listened to their family and their friends. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, now they want to have a heart to heart conversation, express their love to you. Yeah, calling in your soulmate and soulmate. Oh, child. Some of you guys, this is a, um, a soulmate of yours. Okay. Yeah. Um, but other than you guys, this person is just walking away from a karmic soulmate, period. Because it was unrequited love. Free yourself. Release your ex. Past life issues. Somebody is walking away from a karmic. Uh, pay attention to the red flag. But a lot of you guys, I feel like you're not even going to go back, Sunseeds. Spirit is saying you deserve love. Um, love is coming in for you. Okay? Mm. Holy Spirit, what's going to be the outcome for my son, Steve, moving forward when it comes to this whole situation? What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit, for my collective son, Steve? Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Somebody focus on a bag. Okay? Somebody focus on a bag. Somebody also um, is coming in to help you, give you something, gift you with something. Yeah. Something is your justice, son, Steve. Nine of Cups. Three of Cups. Somebody about to be celebrating. You about to get some type of wish granted to you. You about to be celebrating. After some... Damn. Ten of Swords to the <coughs> Six of Cups. After some type of betrayal from your past, you pop the, Somebody literally could be going from rags to riches. Yeah, you're not going back to the past. Damn. This is your karmic justice. Queen of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. It's giving me somebody hard work is paying off. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we close this out? Yeah. Hermit to the Knight of Cups. Somebody just been, you know, working on themselves. Self-reflecting, going within, pouring that love into themselves. Yeah, the star card. Stars, the indigo. Whoever my goddess is and my earth angel is, Kudos, salute to you. Because you went through something. You went through a heavy betrayal. And to come out on top to get justice like that, something was unfair to you that, that was definitely about to be balanced out. I love you guys so very much. Until we get up next time, Sunsteed. Later. Ugh, this rental car is so boring to drive. Let's be honest. The rental car industry is the definition of boring. And the reason can be found in the name itself. Rent a car? You don't want a vac- What the fuck would you need a rent a car for? You know what I'm saying? Why would you need a rent a car when you got money to pay for a, a car all outright? Why would you get a rent a car? Now, I take that back. Rent a cars may be good for something like uh for something like uh uh an airport. You know what I'm saying? And then you flying into a new city, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to drive to it with your car, but you want a car when you get there. That's a good time to rent a car. But then renting a car really stupid, you know, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Unless you trying to do something you ain't supposed to do and don't want to be in your own car to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's the only other reason, you know what I'm saying? But renting a car don't even, you know, make sense to me, man. When you could just have, you know, not having a car now don't make no sense to me now. You know what I'm saying? Somebody telling you you don't deserve a car, 
a motherfucking lie. They just the devil, they just the pure D devil if they don't want you driving. If they want to take you everywhere and don't want to take you everywhere, they don't want you to have your own shit so you can be happy and do your own shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the devil trying to stop you. And he better get out of my fucking way because I'm going to start taking, snatching breath from a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And this God, and I'm talking about in the spirit, I ain't going to be, you know, shooting and killing and stealing with no physical means, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't godly, man, you, you need to just know you ain't going to live long here. They're leaving and going towards somebody who they truly want to be with. And somebody else who, yeah, expectations.